Hey guys, I'm Jennifer with The Family Fudge and welcome to a special preschooler edition of Bunches of Lunches. In today's video, I'm sharing five different preschool lunch ideas. And you guys, these lunch ideas would work whether you're actually sending them to preschool or daycare or if you're just making lunch at home. Now, I made these lunches with my three and a half year old Griffin in mind. Right now, Griffin is probably my pickiest eater. So when I planned these lunches, I tried to make them look as fun as possible hoping that that would encourage him to eat them. And since Griffin is not a huge fan of vegetables, I got kind of creative with those as well. Now you guys, all of these lunches are actually really quick and easy to make, and I've even included a Blippi themed lunch. Now if you're unfamiliar, Blippi is a YouTuber. In fact, he's one of my preschoolers' favorite YouTube channels. Blippi's videos are very playful, they're colorful, and in his videos he teaches numbers and letters and shapes, so it's definitely a big hit with the preschool crowd. Now, like I said, these lunch ideas are definitely geared more towards preschool aged kids. But if you're looking for lunch ideas for toddlers, I do have several videos on that back when Griffin was only two. Before he could even talk, I was making him fun lunches. Back then, Mackenzie would help out by saying what she thought he was thinking. It's actually pretty funny. So if you guys want to check out those videos, I will link them down below. Now, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that red subscribe button, and now let's get on to the lunches. Okay guys, I'm kicking things off with a lunch inspired by Blippi. So my first step for this lunch is to create a pretty simple sandwich. For this, I'm going to start with just one slice of oat bread. And I am gonna go ahead and cut that in half because I'm only gonna need half a sandwich for this lunch. Then I'm going to take my little bow tie cookie cutter to actually cut out the bread. Next, I'm gonna add a little bit of mayo followed by one slice of ham. Now at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and close up the sandwich. Then I'm going to add another thin layer of mayo to the top. Then I'm going to add one slice of cheese Whenever you see Blippi, he's always wearing this bright orange bow tie. So it's kind of like a ham and cheese sandwich, just a little bit of a different order. I really want that orange to be on top so it looks like Blippi's orange bow tie. So now that the sandwich is done, I'm going to move on to some fruit. And for this lunch today, I'm adding a combination of watermelon, cantaloupe, and honeydew melon. This is such a delicious and a colorful combination, and I'm going to fill up this section of the lunchbox with them. It looks like a really fun ball pit, because if you've ever seen an episode of Blippi, you'll know that he loves rolling around in a ball pit. Now moving on to the vegetable. Now honestly, my son Griffin is really not a big fan of many types of veggies, but he will usually eat carrots, so I'm gonna go with those today, and I thought it would be really fun to start by slicing up the carrot, then I'm going to take my extra tiny letter cutters. I'm going to cut out the name Blippi. That way, as Griffin is eating his lunch, he can look at the letters and we can talk about what letters they are and, you know, that sort of thing. To go along with these little carrot pieces, I'm just going to fill the center section here with a little bit of ranch dip. And then in this last little section, I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with some corn kernels. And there you have it, guys. That is everything in lunch number one. I like a whippy sandwich and a going and a balls, but not a carrot or not a ranch. No carrots and no ranch? Ha <laughs> ha! Next up is a lunch idea number two. And the star of this lunch is going to be a star-shaped hard-boiled egg. And because I know a whole egg is going to be too much for my little guy, I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half. That is going to be plenty for him. And I'm also going to season this egg up with just a little bit of salt right on top. No pepper, just salt. Now to go along with this hard boiled egg, I'm also gonna be adding in another one of Griffin's protein packed favorites, which is edamame. This is the kind that's already been taken out of the pod, so it's nice and easy for him to eat. This comes frozen, so all I have to do is steam it up and it's ready to go. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some little orange segments, not too many. And I do like to go ahead and cut these into little wedges, just so that they're easier for my preschooler to eat. In this back section of the lunchbox, I'm gonna go ahead and add in a few little pieces of cheese. I know, and to go along with them, just a couple of pretzels, these little tiny any ones fit perfectly in the lunchbox. In this little front section, I'm going to add just a little bit of unsweetened applesauce. And then in the center section, something really special, I'm going to add just a couple of these sunflower seeds. These are actually milk chocolate covered sunflower seeds. And I'm just gonna put a couple right in here. And there you have it guys, this lunch came together so quick and easy. 
Okay guys, so so far I've been showing you preschooler lunch ideas that are great to send to preschool or to daycare, but here's a lunch idea that I would most likely make at home and that's because for the main course I'm adding in some cheesy broccoli chicken and rice. One way you can make lunchtime easier is by serving leftovers from dinner the night before. So I love doing that. And seriously, you guys, this chicken and rice recipe is so tasty, even my pickiest eaters will gobble it up. Now for the full recipe on this, I will go ahead and put that in the description box below if you'd like to make it yourself. But basically, I just start by sauteing some chicken with onions and garlic in my Instant Pot. I season this with a good amount of salt and pepper. And once the onions have become softened, I'm ready for the next step. I'm gonna pour in about two cups of uncooked white rice, and I'm gonna let this hang out for about one to two minutes, or just until it starts turning golden brown. So now I'm just adding in a little bit of chicken broth, a little bit of water. I'm gonna get my lid on there. Then I'm gonna cook this on manual for eight minutes. Now, once that time is up, I'm gonna go ahead and let it quick release. Then I'm going to remove the lid and add in the rest of our ingredients. This includes lots of shredded cheddar cheese. I'm also gonna add in a box of this cream of chicken soup. Then I'm also gonna add in a mixture of cauliflower and broccoli. Now this actually came in a steamable bag, so I did go ahead and steam it up already. And now I'm just going to dump it all in here as well. Now I'm just going to mix it all together. And that is all there is to it, you guys. What I like about this recipe is that the veggies kind of just melt right into there so the kids don't really notice them. Now since this chicken and rice includes lots of our food groups already I'm going to keep the rest of the lunch pretty simple. I'm just going to add a little bit of melon in the back and then on this other side I'm going to add some cherry tomatoes that I did go ahead and cut in half just to be on the safe side. And there you have it guys. Next up, I have a breakfast-inspired lunch idea, and for this, I'm going to start by adding just three or four of these mini pancakes. These just fit perfectly into the lunch box, and then at this point, I'm not gonna be adding in any syrup or anything like that because these little pancakes are supposed to be like a breakfast version of a Lunchable. So in the back section here, I'm going to add some slices of strawberry and some slices of banana. So the idea is that you would take the pancake, add in a slice of banana and or strawberry and eat it just like that almost like a lunchable so this is a very interactive lunch that my preschooler can build himself and I know he will love it next to go along with this breakfast themed lunch I'm going to add in some Greek yogurt this is a honey flavored yogurt so it's just a little bit sweet and I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of granola right on top in the front section I'm going to add some little teeny pieces of cucumber and then lastly I'm going to fill this center section with some good old Cheerios I feel like Cheerios are a classic preschooler snack but if you wanted to you could add lots of other types of cereal in here and there you have it guys a quick and easy lunch that would also work for breakfast now that brings us to another lunch idea that is perfect to send to preschool or daycare, but today this is going to be an at-home lunch for my preschooler. For this lunch, I'm going to start by making some quesadilla roll-ups. Now of course this starts off just like any quesadilla would with a tortilla and cheese. Now you guys, I have tried adding things to quesadillas before, things like chicken or sauce or beans, and my kids are just not big fans. So I'm just adding a combination of cheddar and mozzarella to this quesadilla and that is it. Now of course you could just fold this up like a regular quesadilla, but what I'm going to do is actually remove it from the pan. Then I'm going to take the entire thing and roll it up. Once this has cooled down a bit, I can go ahead and slice it into little pieces. This is just a fun, different way to serve a quesadilla. These little roll-ups are perfect for dipping, so to go along with them, I'm, I'm also going to add in a small amount of sour cream right on the side. In this back section, I'm going to add some strawberry hearts. I'm adding just a few blueberries to the center of the lunchbox. And over on this other side, I'm going to add just a few shreds of carrot and some pieces of avocado. And to this avocado, I'm also gonna sprinkle on just a little bit of this everything but the bagel seasoning. This stuff is pretty garlicky, but surprisingly, my preschooler loves it, especially on avocado. And there you have it, guys. This lunch came together so quick and easy. 
Now you guys, I would love it if you would let me know in the comments down below, what are some of your go-to foods that you make for your preschooler? I know as parents and as childcare providers, we are always looking for more ideas, especially if you have a picky eater. If you have any tips or tricks to share, go ahead and leave those as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.